What's going on, Cancer? It's time for your weekly reading. This is going to be December 19th through December 25th, 2019. What's up? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Cancer. Do y'all ever get tired of hearing that? It's like, yeah, I know. It's sun, moon, rising, Venus. All right, so it's for you. <laughs> Typically, my readings are love, but it's just whomever is on your mind. Cancer, what's up? Hit the like button for me, please. Leave your comments. Thank you all, all subscribers, new subscribers, old subscribers, whatever. I love it. I love doing this for y'all. So thank you for your support. I hope everyone's doing well. If you need a private reading, as always, my info is below where you can book your private reading. What else? I'm using Tarot de la Nuit, just Tarot of the Night. You can find it on Amazon. It's badass. It's dark. I like it. All right, let's see what's coming in for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's the main message that you guys need to know? The 19th through the 25th, 2019. Let's see what it is. So again, typically my readings are love, but it's just whatever you have on your crabby mind, Cancer. All right, let's check it out. What happened in the recent past with you and this person? The Seven of Wands. Somebody may have blocked somebody. They were very guarded protective right what's going on now we have the seven of swords what's up cancer seven of swords can be you know the sneaky cheating lion kind of bastard or bitch but also it could be avoidance strategizing all right what's on this person's mind cancer the five of swords cancer yikes this is tough energy so far let's see what the hell's going on all right libra gemini aquarius energy i always feel like in this deck it's kind of taking back your power with the five of swords i mean she has the knife I'm just saying, Cancer, did you pull a knife on someone or are they afraid you're going to? Uh, how do they view you? The Three of Swords as pretty upset, I would say. I've got, look at all these swords. So you guys, swords are all about, it can be challenging energy, right? It's communication. I'm getting rough energy here. An argument, a breakup, some shit like that, of course, could be cheating involved with the Seven of Swords and the Three of Swords. They view you as heartbroken, or maybe they put you in a third party situation. I hate that saying, but I have to say it if I see it. What's going on in their feels, the nine of cups. Look how smug she looks. And look at this person in the background, like lurking. It's like, I'm getting heavy, kind of nasty energy. I got to be honest with this. All right. How do they want to move forward with you? The seven of cups. What the hell? Keep you as an option? <sighs> What's going on behind the scenes? The Ten of Wands, a lot of burdens. Cancer, what are y'all going through? I hope this doesn't resonate with a whole lot of people. It may only resonate with one-fourth of a person. Who knows? But it's for somebody. So if you are wondering, you know, is Joe being sneaky? Well, it kind of looks like it. There's some dark energy here. What's your advice with this situation? Look at all these swords, Nine of Swords. One, two, three, four, five. Five swords cards out of eight. You're either de dealing with an air sign or there's a lot of like, I'm in my head type energy. What's the outcome for you guys? The four of cups in reverse. So the four of cups in reverse, some sort of missed opportunity. It's like a cup was given, but then somebody says, no thanks, I'm good. Or it's kind of like that energy of the one that got away is what it feels like. The bottom of the deck is the Hermit, sign of Virgo. Somebody's ghosted somebody or just completely withdrawn. I'm feeling heavy, like manipulative energy here, Cancer. I gotta be honest. I don't like that, but bottom of the deck, as soon as I turned it over, the Queen of Cups. So there you guys are. What else? Temperance, healing. I feel like you guys are healing from a situation or you will be. Yeah, it's heavy energy. And really the way the deck lays this way, because I have reversals in it, she's in reverse. So a lot of you are hurting right now. All right, Cancer, let's see what you need to know. Again, this is the uh, 19th of December through the 25th, 2019. What's the main message for Cancer? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Seven of Wands in the, in the uh, recent past. Again, you guys were kind of guarded against each other. You know, it's kind of like that energy of keep out, keep back. You know, somebody who's really protecting themselves, maybe even blocking with this energy. And it's because the current energy is there's some really manipulative shit, I think, going on. Some of the swords could be cheating, stealing, lying, you know, 
taking the last cookie out of the cookie jar and not admitting to doing it. I'm just saying on this person's mind's the five of swords. Either they feel like you've brought some mind games or manipulation that way, or you, this is how you're feeling. It could go either way. Um, they know you're hurt though. Three of swords, they've hurt you or you hurt them. But this is in the position of how they view you. And what I don't like is in their emotions, they're the nine of cups. The nine of cups is a little bit smug energy. It's almost like I got away with something. That's what I feel with the nine of cups in this deck. I mean, look at her. She's about self-indulgent, whether that's sex, whether that's, you know, food, shopping, infomercials, whatever. There's a very smug energy here. And how do they see, see moving forward seven of cups, keeping their options open? Or maybe they had options the whole time. <clears throat> Going on behind the scenes, a lot of burdens. There's, there could even be guilt here. Sometimes the Ten of Wands is guilt or worry or shame. Look, she's got her back. It's almost like she's looking down. You are dealing with somebody smug, but this is either call, causing you a lot of burdens or this person is, you know, kind of feeling worried, but they're not coming across as that or shameful or guilty, but they're not coming across as that, but that's what you don't see. All right, let's check it out. Why is the hermit energy here for Cancer's overall energy sign of Virgo? I'm sorry, it's tough energy, Cancer. Why is the hermit here? The eight of wands. Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Eight is all about change. What is this eight of wands? Why is this eight of wands the overall energy for Cancer? The six of cups in reverse. Okay, so the eight of wands can be released. It can be changed, moving forward quickly, right? And it's because you guys are isolated from somebody ghosted or pulled away from somebody and they're just moving forward. And it's because of the six of cups in reverse. Something happened in the past and it's kind of leaving a bad taste in your mouth or their mouth. Seven of wands is the past energy. Why is this here in the past for cancer and this person? What is the shit? It's the page of cups in reverse. Somebody was immature with their emotions or they just became completely closed off with the page of cups in reverse and blocked out. Why is this page of cups in reverse? Again, the nine of cups. Y'all are dealing with somebody that was very, um, they were careless with your emotions or they were very emotionally immature. And that nine of cups is coming out again, right? What just fell out? And the page of wands. Could have been a younger fire sign, a younger water sign. <sighs> okay, so the current energy though is the seven of swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Cancer and this person currently the lovers? Sign of Gemini. A lot of Gemini energy there, Cancer. What's up with the set? What's up with this lovers card? Obviously, it's probably this is probably about love, obviously. What's the um making a choice or a decision? Head over heart. What is this? There you are. Queen of Cups in reverse again. So you came out again. You're making a head over heart decision or you have. Sometimes this energy is already played out or it'll be coming in. I mean, it is in the position of the current energy, but take it how it fits, right? You guys are upset. You're hurt. You're pissed, right? And you, it's because you've had to make some sort of decision about somebody that you deemed as sneaky or manipulative is what it's saying. Now, on this person's mind is the Five of Swords. I mean, really? It's almost like they know they've been manipulative and playing some mind games. And then you've got the Five of Swords in reverse. I'm getting the energy of, I got away with it and I really don't care. And now I'm just walking away from it. I caused conflict and mind games and manipulation. And then with the Five of Swords in reverse, it's like, see ya. I don't want any part of this. It's very manipulative energy. What's this Five of Swords in reverse about? King of Coins, could have been an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, maybe somebody was married. Could be in the work too for some of you guys, having to do with work. What's Who or what is this King of Coin about? See, the Three of Cups in reverse. I feel like this mf -er was already in a relationship or this was sex only, something like that. I say mf -er, she could be a bitch too. It could be a female. Whoever this is, is quite manipulative. Sorry, cross watchers. Thumbs down, all you like. I'm reading for cancer, and this is shitty energy for them. Somebody hurt cancer, and I don't like it. What's the three of cups? In <laughs> yeah, the knight of cups, because they were a knight. That knight of cups is, it's water energy, but it's somebody that's like the knight in shining armor. They know all the right things to say, 
but it's a night and so they head out and you don't hear from them again often for weeks or months or something like that that night doesn't always stay they come they go it's you know the very like romeo type energy and there was manipulation behind it cancer they view you they know it they view you as a three of swords hurt with the six of wands this is somebody that was very ego driven. Okay, six of wands could be Leo, but the six of wands is about ego, attention. Somebody was just in this for the attention. Also, they could have been getting attention or you know admiration from other people. What's the six of wands? The empress, but they feel like you still wanna grow the situation. Cancer, really? You know, Libra Taurus energy. This person could have been involved with an empress. Can be a wife or somebody else. Who's this empress? Queen of wands. Leo Sag Aries energy could be the person you were dealing with or, you know, who they're involved with. Who's this queen of wands? The emperor. Aries energy. There's a lot of Aries energy there. This person knows that you're hurt by their actions, but they also view you as still wanting to grow the connection. That's why it's manipulative, okay? You're dealing with someone that's pretty twisted. In their emotions, they have the nine of cups. Why is this Nine of Cups here? <clears throat> the Sun. The Nine of Cups with the Sun card. Leo energy again. But the Sun and the Nine of Cups is somebody that <sighs> likes a lot of attention, but it's for self-serving reasons. Why is the Sun here? Why is the Sun here? Death in reverse, and they're not going to change, right? Death in reverse, sign of Scorpio. This is somebody that um, just lacks a transformation. They're kind of stuck in their ways. This is the person. This is how they are. The hermit, sign of Virgo. And they've probably ghosted or pulled away. The sun and the nine of cups is very um, me, 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 me. And then when the going gets tough, they disappear. Or it would be like that energy. If you call them out on their shit, they take off. That's what I'm getting here, Cancer. How do they see moving forward with you is the Seven of Cups illusions also with the Seven of Cups. That's somebody that's creating illusions and haze and making your mind. Th it's, it's, it, this reminds me a lot of gaslighting. And if anybody's ever gone through that, you'll know what I mean. And, you know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not diagnosing shit. I'm just going with my intuition and what I'm feeling in these cards. If you don't know what gaslighting is, look it up. Seven of Cups. Yeah, and the Two of Wands. Why is this two of wands here? More fire energy. What's this two of wands about? The four of wands. They may have had a choice to make, right? With the two of wands between two different people. This person could have been married or already in a relationship. Why is this four of wands here? But they created some sort of illusion. You had no idea. Also with the two of wands, you thought maybe you, they were going to make plans for the future because the two of wands doesn't just have to be, I'm at a crossroads. It can also mean you're setting out on a new path. You're making plans for the future. I'm going to give you the four of wands. But there was a four of wands, commitment, moving in together, engagement, whatever, happy times, happy, you know, happiness. But there was some sort of facade or illusion. What's this four of wands about? Justice in reverse, see? Sign of Libra. This person had no intention of doing the right thing. I think that this person created a lot of illusions, Cancer, and lied to you, unfortunately, is what's going on here. What's going on behind the scenes is the Ten of Wands. What's this about? The Five of Wands. There's competition. There's conflict. I feel like deep down this person does feel some strife with this. Um, burdens, of course. What's this five of wands behind the scenes? What is this? The nine of swords. This person is feeling guilty about it though, but they would never let you know. It's like, it's almost like magician energy. They're only going to let you see certain aspects of this, but what's going on behind the scenes, they know something that they didn't tell you and they know it and they're, they're feeling it. Your advice is the nine of swords. What is this? The four of cups. Get, try to get out of your head as much as you can. I know it's such a cliche to say that, but that's what your advice. And just, you know what? Just reject this person. If by chance you were to hear from them again, which I'm kind of feeling you're not, I kind of feel this is that energy of this person in the hidden factors, they know what they've done is fucked up. And that type of person you typically don't hear from again, right? They cause the havoc and then they take off. And they're telling you, you know what? Just accept this rejection for what it is. And think about it. Because in this deck, he's contemplating, right? 
so it doesn't happen again with the two of cups also go for your two of cups cancer you know go for somebody that's going to offer you that cup equally also i feel like this person was probably involved the outcome is this four of cups in reverse why is this here for cancer what is it yeah the ten of swords it's done And that looks painful. Ten is completion. There's a missed opportunity here, right? This person may feel like you got away from them, but they probably should have thought about that, right? Before they did whatever they did to you, Cancer. But it's done. Ten of swords, too much betrayal, too much backstabbing. It's an end of a cycle. The three of wands in reverse, probably somebody else was involved in all of this. And the three of wands in reverse is just turning your back on it. It's just not going to manifest. One more card for Cancer. I'm sorry this was heavy, y'all. Yeah, Ten of Cups in reverse. This is not your happily ever after person, obviously. They may have made you think that they were, and those were the illusions that were created here, but it's not. It's not your person, okay? This is some sort of lesson or shit here going on. It's heavy. It's heavy. I feel it. I'm an empath. I got a lot of water in my chart, so I get it. All right, Cancer. I'm loving you hard. Love me hard back. Take care and take a salt bath. See ya.